Hello, I'm here at Luton School inside one of the main greenhouses, and I'm here with Luke, who is part of the Luton School Orchid Project. Hello. So, what are we actually going to be doing? Well, today we're going to go up to the microprop labs and use our microprop facilities to um, show you our techniques of replating orchid seedlings. Okay, let's go. So here we have uh, Zoe and Ramia who are sterilizing the bench and any tools that they'll use ready to uh, do the replating. Why do you have to sterilize everything? Well, we sterilize everything because in the wild, the orchids would rely on a mycorrhizal fungus uh, to give them the glucose they need for germination. Because we don't have the mycorrhizal fungus, we have to use um, agar jelly, uh, which is a problem because agar is commonly used to grow bacteria. And if we had a single bacterium or a single fungus spore, we'd lose the whole jar. So why do you have to replate the orchids? We replate them because the seed is incredibly fine. And when we sow them, we'll sow 10,000 or so seeds in one jar. When we, they get to the stage that they're two years old, there'll only be about 10 orchids in each jar. So along the way, about five or six times, we have to replate them, which is basically splitting them up and um, encouraging them to grow roots and leaves and therefore become bigger plants. So this is a Cymbidium erythrostylum, uh, it's from the Himalayas, and this is what um, those little plants will grow into in about four years' time. Really? Four years? It takes that long? Yeah, they're very beautiful plants, but do um, need a lot of patience. Um, thank you for letting me look around the labs and the greenhouses. Pleasure. Look forward to seeing you again sometime. Yeah, thank you. Bye!